Okay, the cable hit to Banshee, B-A-N-S-H-E-E, -E, I think. Uh, just wrapped season two with record ratings. Hoon Lee plays transgender tough guy Job on the action series. We talked to him about everything from stunt work to costumes and mutant ninja turtles. Well, I thought he'd never leave. <gasps> I'll see now. That won't be necessary. Shut your mouth. Hoon Lee, what a treat. Welcome to the couch. So, congratulations. Thanks. Banshee wraps up with big numbers. Yeah, yeah. Fans right. love it. When do you start shooting season three? We're going to start in April with season three, and we're very excited. The reaction to the finale was fantastic, and we are going to carry that momentum over into season three. When so. you're shooting this, do, you, do you, you get a sense? Did you get a sense that it was going to be this big? You know... I think after the first season, we had accumulated a lot of goodwill with the fans, and they had embraced us so strongly that we moved into the second season with a lot of confidence. So feeling that confidence in the writing room and in the direction, um, feeling that we were kind of onto something, it, it allowed us to just be free. And so you kind of feel that energy more than anything else. Well, there we are <laughs> right there. Um, we're seeing how do, uh, how do you get into your character? Your uh, there's usually some sort of an intense block and tackle system involved. Uh, <laughs> get me into a corset and then a lot of pulling and crying. There's some weeping in the corner, but uh, usually it starts on the page. What does it take to get in the dress? It, in the, in the sometimes I'm dressed more like a, a, a traditional male sort uh -huh. of gender role, and so that will be very, very easy. They just kind of like slap some right, right, right. powder on. But when it's a more elaborate look, it can. It's usually a couple of hours. Wow, there, there, you, there you are, right there. That yeah. is one of the more look elaborate. At, look at the moves too. Oh, wow. Gosh. And you also get uh, you you also get some pretty uh, some pretty active scenes. Uh, yeah. yeah. Do, do you do all your own stunts? Um, yes, more or less. If there's something incredibly dangerous, like somebody has to be thrown in front of moving vehicles or things right. like that, then we generally don't. But. Um, as much as we're able, we want to give the directors and the editors options, and mm -hmm. a lot of the times that means being able to carry from our faces to the action and mm -hmm. back to kind of keep that drama high. So we do what we can. Um, we try to keep within the bounds of safety uh, whenever <laughs> possible, but it's also fun for me. So. You ever been hurt? Not seriously. Yeah, well, that's yeah. good. Uh, you get to some of the best lines in the <laughs> show. That's all John Tropper. Right? Really? Yeah. Do you bribe him, or is it just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, an endless supply of Twinkies and Ho-Hos. Um, no, it's, uh, it's, it's a voice that I think he really likes to write, and I think a lot of our other guest writers kind of enjoy that as well. He's slightly different from some of the other characters in the show. He's got a lighter touch, and is able to kind of approach things from a more sardonic, sarcastic angle. So I think they enjoy that change of tempo. One of our fine technicians, uh, Peter Feiner, a huge fan of the show, and he says, oh, yeah. you know, you're just a horrible person in the show. <laughs> yeah. But every time... Well, you're it's relative, with, isn't it? Every time you're done with the scene, he's laughing. <laughs> he's just, there's so much to love about you. Well, you know, when you're in a the context is a whole group of people who are essentially outlaws and yeah. career criminals and murderers and you know some of them at the psychopathic Basically level. Basically, the staff here. <laughs> <laughs> no, they've all been lovely. Yeah. Whoa. Um, no. Did you see that look? Release my sons. No. Um, uh, tell me about Splinter. You're the voice yeah. of Splinter am, on yes. Teenage Ninja Mutant Turtles. Te Teenage Mutant Ninja Teenage Turtles. Teenage Mutant Tingle Ninjals. That's so close. Teenage Mindles Nindles. It's so were you there. A, you were a fan of this growing up, right? I was, yeah. I read the original black and white comic books growing up. How do you get into the role of a, a Splinter? Oh, my gosh. That's so much easier. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. No, no corsets, for one. <laughs> so that's good. Um... You know, again, it starts with the writing, and we've had a, a wonderful um, team working on it, and our executive producer for that show, Ciro Neely, was a huge fan growing up and is just steeped in all of the lore. And so I feel like it's always there for me. Um, but our voice director, Andrea Romano, is wonderful. She's able to kind of pull out every little nuance yeah. and kind of help you along, keeps the big picture. Well, you know, turtles are very nuanced. They are. They are. They are. You know, for being a bad guy, he's such a nice fellow. Totally. And you and your kids can hear Hoon Lee voicing Master Splinter Sunday mornings at 11 on Nickelodeon. And once you put them to bed, and make sure you put them to bed. Catch up on Banshee on Cinemax On Demand. Yes, my husband is obsessed with really? that show. Yes, of Don't course. let Noah watch it. Noah's not allowed to watch okay. that. He's not allowed to watch Ninja, Ninja Turtles yet, yet. either.